We got a 2016 Kia Forte 5, and we're going to take the front and rear door panels off. So first, what we want to do is want to get behind this little cover here. Take a little screwdriver, pop that panel off, and then it just pops right back in. And there is a, a Phillips screw head right inside here that we want to take off. Let's go ahead and do that. Right there. Next, right down here, there's a little plastic cover. Just use your little screwdriver and it just bends and it comes out. There's a little area you can either get it here or just get it here. No big deal. And there's also a little Phillips screw in there. That we'll take out. They're the same. They're the same size, so you don't have to worry about mixing them up. Uh, we want to try to uh, pull the panel. We got these really neat wedges that we got that we can actually try to get in in somewhere. Try to get some leverage. releases the panel. Okay, so we're going to lift, get the panel off, and there's actually, there's a release tab right here. There's a release tab right here. Push it, and it releases the whole mechanism so that you can unplug the, the cables, okay? And then, a little bit further down, we have a harness right here. It's got a little release tab right there. And then a little bit further down here, there's another harness. This one's a little bit harder to get to. There's a release tab on there. That one's just. It's a little harder to get in there because it's way wedged in there. And that pretty much does it. So that pretty much does it for the front door. Now we're going to go to the back door. Now the back door is going to be similar. We have a little cover that we need to take off here and a little plastic piece down here also. There's two screws in there. Move this first front cover. Take a little screwdriver. I'm going to get behind here by where the lock is. And you just pry it and it pops right out. Same setup, it just pops right back in and get it in there. Take our little Phillips head, take that out. We got the same deal in here. There's a little cover inside of here that we need to come off. It needs to come off. It's a little plastic and it kind of just bends. So it just bends and it comes out. Once you get that out, there's a little screw in there. A little Phillips screw. I'm going to take that out. Pretty simple. Next thing, either take. Same thing, it'll take a wedge or a door panel removal tool and then try to get into one of the sides. See if you can get underneath the door. There's an opening on the bottom. Let's shove my wedge in there. And then just start pulling. Actually, I have to put, put the wedge in there. Wedges sometimes help for the clips not to pop off. Oops, there goes the door panel. So got the door panel now released. Have the door panel released. Let's go take it off all the way. We got it off. Now we gotta release that mechanism back there. This mechanism right here, and there's a little released lever right here. You just Put it this way and then it comes right out. Okay, and then it's reversed to put it back in. When you put it back in, make sure if you look at the at, at this little cable on this side, there's an actual 
spot right here where it goes in, those have to line up. The 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 door lock one has to line up. The bottom one doesn't really move because the handle is sitting at a, st a certain position. So that one's going to go right in. But the, the top one, you have to actually make sure that the lock is in a certain spot. Then it'll clip in or else it won't clip in. Okay? Just to make sure when you're putting it back together. As a... Uh, get it on camera there. It's got one little harness right there. A low release tab on there. Right there you push down and then pull it out. And that's pretty much it for that one. So that that does it for the rear panel. Uh, and then the other side is, is exactly the same way. Uh, if some of the clips do come off the doors, make sure you just pop them off, put it back on the door panel. Um, Two clips did pop off of this one, so I'll take those off. I'll put them back on the door panel. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up. Thanks for watching.